Dear viewers, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. May Allah's peace, mercy, blessings be upon you. We stopped at point or at the verse where it's really serious. Allah Almighty saying that He will bring the hellfire and it will be more into fire. And Allah Almighty will bring the paradise and people literally will be able to see the paradise. So he said, وَإِذَا الْجَحِيمُ سُعِرَتْ It will be completely hellfire on fire. And when Allah says, وَإِذَا الْجَنَّةُ أُزْلِفَتْ When the Jannah will come closer to the people so they will be seeing it. And while they are seeing these two things, one is so horrible and one is so lovely that they would like to go in it, what will happen? Allah says, عَلِمَتْ نَفْسٌ مَا أَحْضَرَتْ That the soul, every soul will know that what it has brought. They know. After seeing this horrible situation of the Day of Judgment and seeing the paradise and seeing the hellfire, they will come to know that what they brought. If it's good deed, they will go to the paradise. If it's bad deeds, they will go to the hellfire. Alimat nafsumma ahbarat. That on that day, each soul, each person will know what they have done and what they have brought in that state or in that place. And then Allah Almighty said something completely different about after telling about what the people will gonna see, what will happen, what how they will react and what will they feel? Allah Almighty says, فَلَا أُقْسِمُ بِالْخُنَّسِ Allah is saying, So I swear by the retreating star. فَلَا أُقْسِمُ بِالْخُنَّسِ And this khunnas, I used to wonder long time ago that what is this that Allah Almighty is swearing by this star? فَلَا أُقْسِمُ بِالْخُنَّسِ it says that it's a star and it's recently discovered by this scientist that it's a giant star, it's a huge star and it's hidden star, it's a black. So khunnas means that something that, you know, hidden. When I used to read this ayah, when this, I, I used to read this verse long time ago, I used to say that, what is khunnas? And why Allah Almighty, what is the wisdom that Allah Almighty is taking oath by this? And then I used to continue, and it says, al-jawar al kunnas. It says, that run and disappear. So it's a star, it runs very fast, and it disappears. Still, I was thinking that what exactly it is, Al-Khunnas, Al-Jawar, Al-Khunnas, still for me, I want to know what exactly it is. Until I read this one of the documentaries or one of these researches that the scholar said what? That they discovered there is a star. It's a huge star and it's moving so fast that anything, any objective come next to that star and it takes it in. So I said, amazingly, how glory be to Allah, how amazing He is, that He mentioned about one of the stars, and of course we don't take it literally, but I can just compare it with the, what the Arabic language and the meaning of it says, and then what the research says. So I said, amazing. So there is a star, a huge star, Al-Jawar Al-Kunnas. It's running very fast, and kunnas means it's taking everything, it's pulling anything that comes next to it. This thing is mentioned in Quran more than 1,400 years ago. Still people are denying Allah. Still people are denying the Creator. Still people don't believe in the oneness of God. Still people, they don't believe in the signs that Allah Almighty kept us in the Quran and in the ocean. So in this we'll just take a short break and then 
We will continue, so stay with us. Welcome back, dear viewers. So, as I said, that Allah Almighty giving us signs in the oceans, in the skies, in the everywhere that you can see, it's a sign of Allah Almighty. He is telling us, but yet you will find some people, they deny the signs of Allah Almighty. Then what Allah Almighty says after telling us about this star, and he is taking oath by this star, what Allah Almighty says, وَاللَّيْلِ إِذَا عَسْعَسْ That when the night will take over. When the night will get close and it will take over everything. وَالصُّبْحِ إِذَا تَنَفَّسْ And when the day or the dawn, when it will breathe. Now this is the literally meaning or the literal meaning of Tanafas is breathe. But what Allah Almighty meant here, that when the night will cover everything, and then from it, the day light will come out. So this is where Allah Almighty is saying that this will all gonna happen. And who is making this is Allah. Who is able to do all these things is Allah alone. No any machine, no anything in the whole entire world can do these things. It's systematic by Allah Almighty. It's systematic because of the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because he says to something, kun, be, and it is. It will be, directly. This is his command. And then what Allah Almighty says, he says, innahu laqawlu rasulin kareem. Allah Almighty is now again telling us that how important is for us to obey Allah, to worship Allah, to follow the path of Allah with the guidance of Prophet of Allah, the Messenger Muhammad, peace be upon him. So here he's saying, إِنَّهُ لَقَوْلُ رَسُولٍ كَرِيمٍ Indeed, the Quran is a word coming by the noble messenger. Here, the word Rasulin Kareem, some people think that Rasulin Kareem means the noble messenger. But here, actually, it means the angel. Because the angel Gabriel, he is the one who's taking this Quran, taking these verses, and he is being Amin, he is being noble, and he is being as a messenger who is carrying this message, and going all the way to Prophet Muhammad to deliver this message, right? So Allah Almighty is saying that this word is coming to you is by noble angel. It's not, you know, just coming from nowhere. Uh, you know, people are just saying it as people till today say that, okay, it's just like legend. It just says it's the old book. No, it is from Allah and the one who brought it. It is the messenger of Allah, angel Gabriel. Not only that. Allah Almighty now telling about this messenger, his character, his features. So Allah Almighty said, "The quwwatin inda dil arshi makin." He is a strong angel with strength. The quwwati, the quwwatin inda dil arshi makin. He is having this strength and power. Who is near? to the arsh of Allah, near the throne of Allah Almighty. And I'll just give you an example. If you have something valuable, and if you want to deliver this something very valuable to you, could be a gold, could be a silver, could be a diamond, could be something, and not you want to deliver it, you want someone to deliver this for you to someone else. Now, the choice is yours. Will you take someone who's weak, who does not know how to talk, who does not know how to protect himself rather than protecting the, the, the valuable thing that he is having? Or you will take someone who is well-trained, who is having the strength, who is a powerful person, and maybe he, is, he knows what to do and, and how to do? Simple as that. 
So Allah Almighty is saying that this angel, he is a powerful angel with a strength and that's why he got this message from Allah Almighty. And we will continue more talking about these verses from the same chapter. By then, stay with us until the next episode. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.